Okay, uh, we've got more to discuss in terms of asymmetric encryption. Uh, as I say, um, the uh, asymmetric encryption relies heavily on math and, and computation. And the, the two keys uh, involved are mathematically relation, related. So this is computationally intensive. Um, whereas uh, the uh, symmetric encryption requires multiple rounds, but they're simple operations in terms of substitution and, and permutation. Um, there's an awful lot of calculation that goes on with um, uh, with asymmetric encryption. So that uh, results in, in two um, problems. Um, one is that the the address space, the key space, um, is uh, going to be considerably reduced for the same size key. So um, the we have a situation where um, uh, you know not every number is going to be suitable as a key, and it's not just you know the very few keys um, that uh, are unsuitable with regard to um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the DES keys that we talked about, um, but the, um, well, you know, only a very few keys are going to be suitable, are, you know, so we've, we've got sort of the opposite problem. So we've got um, a situation where the keys have to be longer, and of course the keys being uh, longer just adds to the computational uh, complexity of, of what we're doing in terms of encryption. Um, so, it's a lot of work. Uh, there's uh, uh, restrictions with regard to keys, you know, uh, we have to make the keys longer. Um, there is also the fact that uh, it is actually weaker. There are more, you know, different attacks that can be mounted against asymmetric encryption because of the uh, the mathematical activity that goes on. So, um, you know, we've got, uh, you know, some, some issues. We, we know how strong uh, symmetric encryption is. Um, we, we have, a, you know, an idea, but... Um, uh, a less solid idea in terms of the uh, the work factors involved um, with asymmetric encryption when we're working in that area. So um, we uh, we want to be prepared for that. However, um, this cost in in terms of the strength um, and and weakness. Um, it does uh, come with it an added benefit, and that is that uh, we can not only deal with confidentiality, but also authentication uh, in, in terms of uh, the integrity of the information um, and uh, the source of the, the point of origin. As a matter of fact, um, asymmetric encryption, for the first time, gives us non-repudiation, and that is that someone who uh, uh, signs, well, we'll get, get into that, um, a, uh, a file using asymmetric encryption, we can know for certain, you know, yes, this person did do that, um, and that person cannot repudiate uh, what they're doing. So um, we've, got, uh, we've got a variety of situations. Um, with regard to uh, uh, different uh, algorithms, um, uh, originally, well, originally, um, yeah, we talked about, you know, who got in first, but Diffie-Hellman, anyways, who get the credit, um, that is uh, factors and logarithms. Um, 
sorry, uh, not, uh, yeah, exponents and logarithms. Uh, RSA, which is the uh, probably the, the one that gets um, uh, most mention is uh, based on factoring. Um, the uh, Elgamal, um, uh, originally Diffie-Hellman uh, with the exponents and logarithms um, had to do with uh, just key exchange. They didn't actually have a full encryption system and Elgamal uh, took that and, and made a full encryption system out of it. Um, then there's elliptic curve cryptography. Um, elliptic curve cryptography is, um, uh, again, looking at curves in space. Um, that is, uh, you can add two points on a curve and you get a third resultant uh, point on that curve. And the, um, again, you know, it's, it's easy to do one way, it's, it's harder to do the other, and that uh, turns out to have the highest strength per bit. Um, it's, it's actually, in, in terms of the strength, it's, it's very close to uh, the strength of, of symmetric encryption, much uh, closer than uh, Diffie-Hellman or RSA. Um, and uh, it turns out to be um, uh, relatively easy to, to do uh, elliptic curve cryptography in uh, computer programs. So, um, you know, it's probably an area um, that uh, is is going to extend. Um, okay, we're, uh, eventually we're going to get into quantum cryptography, and I suppose we'll uh, discuss the issue of uh, uh, quantum decryption at, at that point. Um, at, at the moment, just let me say that there is work on uh, producing um, uh, new types of asymmetric uh, algorithms that are not going to be subject to quantum decryption um, and uh, that at the moment that really is uh, it's not an issue that we need to worry about immediately although yes down the road we have to pay attention to the possibility uh, but as I say that's that's a little bit getting a little ahead of ourselves.